give that back carefully. Okay, we had a short executive section. Um, <laughs> I guess so. And to really discuss uh, the mm. legal uh, implications of your questions. And at this time, we don't feel we have the legal representation mm -hmm. to answer your questions uh, and probably don't have the legal uh, knowledge to answer those questions on a legal aspect. What we will do is we will invite you all back next month when we can have our uh, legal representative here and you can answer any of the legal questions that we may have. So Treasures you... Report. The general fund has $22,875.49 Mount Pleasant Sewer Fund has $4,113.87. The state fund has $216,979.94. Can everybody hear me okay? I, I didn't know. We just we had moved so quickly, I didn't get a chance to even give them the questions, but I don't think anybody here anticipated that you would know any of it. It was just really a, a starting the ball rolling thing, and we jumped so quickly I didn't get a chance to hand them the questions. Well, if all. you have the questions written down, mm -hmm. we'll be glad to take them. Yeah, that's what. And and pass them along to our solicitor so that uh, we can Somebody have. Give it to you now. Yeah, so that we can have um, good answers for you. Mm -hmm. That will be entered into the minutes. Pardon? That will be entered into the minutes. Yeah. Yes, we'd like that on the record, please. They absolutely, yeah. be on the record. Good. Good. Woods Edge Sewer Fund has four thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars and fifty-seven cents, still owing the township sixteen thousand four hundred nine dollars. <coughs> uh, any additions or corrections to the treasurer's report? If not, it will stand as presented. Uh, approval of the bills. Do I have a motion to approve the bills? I make a motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Reports. Police report. Police calls 135. Court zero, accident investigations three, traffic arrest four, criminal arrest zero, written warning zero. Traffic arrests were for the following, driving without a driver's license, passing in a no passing zone, leaving the scene of an accident, and hit and run. <coughs> zoning report. Nothing as far as zoning goes. The only thing under sewage enforcement is I do have the module for the Martinez subdivision. The county has approved everything except for the module. Uh, you guys just need to sign the module and make a motion to sign it. Uh, so we can send that to the uh, motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to sign the module. 
I have a motion to have a second. Second. I have a motion to second all those in favor say aye. 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 What is that exactly? Planning module is a DEP document uh, for subdivision purposes uh, to subdivide parcel of land. And um, it's just the paperwork that goes to DEP for their approval. We have a statutory timeline of 60 days to act on it, and we're within over 30 now, so the township has to act on it at a regularly publicized meeting. Thank and you. You said something about the county. County has a subdivision in hand uh, for a subdivision of land on the Martinez farm. And they, Is this what's that? Is this a land use issue? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a subdivision. Okay. Um, I would like you to look at the Act 13 uh, decision by the Supreme Court about citizens' rights in land use. Because that, that made a, what I believe is a significant difference in land use. It used to be um, the county commissioners just said it's okay or not okay, but this suggests suggests that citizens should be involved in that decision. And I would just ask you to um, find out what you can about that. What the county has jurisdiction over subdivision land development in Orange Township. We do not have a subdivision land development ordinance, so it falls under the county jurisdiction. We have a zoning ordinance, but anything as far as subdivision or land development has to be done by the county. And like I said, the county's had the subdivision in their hands for probably three over three months now, um, and they need the module to finish the process. And um, as long as the module meets the requirements, we have no uh, recourse or no, you know, nothing to do but to forward it on the DEP. Are, are you suggesting, though, in view of my question, are you suggesting that I should contact the county about this matter instead of you? Well, that's up to you. They have subdivision land development jurisdiction, so if you're if you're specifically interested in the subdivision or the land development aspect, then you need to call them because okay. they have jurisdiction in our township. Okay. Thank you. I have a motion to second all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Mount Pleasant Sewer. Uh, everything seems to be okay with the uh, Mount Pleasant aspect of it. Haven't had any problems. We cleaned the pump station out once last week. Woods Edge. Uh, Woods Edge, we're uh, <clears throat> both sand filters we got running right now. Um, and we are, uh, I'm working with the engineer as far as the uh, new permit goes with the restrictions and the uh, documentation that they need for our compliance starting in January and for the next three years what we have to comply with. So uh, I'll be working with them on that, on that end of it. And, uh, I mean, the plant front is good as far as that goes, or any problem there. The uh, uh, Hess's uh, meter for Hess's market, uh, Andy and I are still working on that. We, uh, he's, he has to take one more look at it to get, make sure we have all the components because everything has to everything has to be replaced. We can't mix and match. Uh, it's outdated. What are we looking at cost on that? Um, probably somewhere around four thousand. I can get you uh, as soon as I get the exact cost when Andy has all the components. I'll I'll email it up to the secretary. Okay. Roadmaster. Uh, clear trees from storms, uh, mowed or mowing lots or, and that we acquired from the flood. Uh, we're mowing the roads uh, here in the township and on the agility agreement at, on the state roads. 
and <coughs> we've been grading the uh, dirt and gravel roads that have been ripped up from the storms we've had. Just get over on the upper end of Buck Road. Mm -hmm. Old business. Which edge update? Um, we're closing in on the purchase. Uh, later, when we go to new business, I'm going to have you guys make a motion to sign the resolution so we can apply to PennBest so I can get that going. Um, so we're headed in the right direction. We want to get the sales agreement signed, but then we're going to try to close in March because hopefully we'll have um, an answer from PennBest by then as to whether we're going to get a grant or have to take out a loan for it. So that's about it right now. Okay. No update on special study for Mount Pleasant. Sewer. Any other old business? Mm -hmm. New business. Um, both of these things are this, they're basically the same. I just want you to do it in two separate motions because it's two separate documents. Um, the first one is a letter of responsibility, and that just basically says that we're going to follow PennBest rules, um, however they choose to give us this money, whether in a grant or a loan. Um, so that's the first one. And then the resolution to apply is exactly that. It just is to allow us to apply to PennBest. So if I could have those in two separate... Oops, that'd be great. Make a motion to sign a letter of responsibility to apply for either grant or loan to PennBest. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, second. Motion to approve resolution to apply to PennBest. Do I have a motion? I make a motion. I have a motion to have a second. Second. I have a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same time. Any other new business? Yes. Um, if you guys can make a motion for us to use HRG as the engineer for to comply with the new permit requirements for Woods Edge. I do not have a price from her yet but I think that it's necessary that we at least make the motion, since we have two different engineers, we at least make the motion formal um, to use her. I make a motion to use HRG to do the engineering for the upgrades at the Woods Edge sewer plant. I have a motion to have a let's second. Call it, let's call it permit, new permit requirements, because it's two different, okay. Second. Okay, well, motion is a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Any other new business? Correspondence. <clears throat> the only thing is. Uh, the flood goes out after five very long, very tedious years. It's done. And they owe us ten thousand dollars and that's on its way, so Okay. For the good of the township. May I ask a question for the good of the township? Sure. I just wanted to know, have you had any correspondence or heard anything 
from Williams since the last time I was here a couple months ago. The only thing we had no. was uh, a call about the, ro the road use. That was it. The road? The road use, the permit, if, they, if they're going to use any uh, crossings or wide loads, they have to get special permits. And there was this inquiry about that. Well, it was more than inquiry. We, we made a motion last month to use a specific road use agreement. Agree yeah, had the agreement up. was written up. Have, have you been involved in any of the active road um, improvements uh, paid by, for by Pennsylvania taxpayers that have been remarkably active past summer and even before that? But um, bridges north of Light Street, Orangeville, Benton, road paving, road paving around Light Street, which I, I, I don't quite, quite understand. They told us that the middle part of the road had to be torn up before they could put um, new paving on it. And I'm not sure why they needed new paving anyhow, but that's not your, I know that's not yours, but do, have you been asked to do anything through the east-west roads between 42 and, and, nine, and uh, 487, or the north-south roads, or the ch chips, or anything? Is well, that, you're talking about two different things here. Are you talking about a state road or a township? Well, I'm, I'm talking about you, whether they've asked you They to, don't ask us. We decide what we're going to do, and we do it ourselves. Okay, so... For township roads. We do roads. do road projects, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah using the state liquid fuels that we've gotten for years. Yeah. Now, it was increased, you know, through the, the tax that you guys, everybody pays now on gasoline. It, we did get more than we usually do. But we've also spent on, this year was a lot of tar and ship roads. Mm -hmm. May I ask a question then when you're mm -hmm. done? Mm -hmm. um, if, okay. if you guys are going to ask questions, if you could just state your name before you ask the question, please. Okay. I know you guys. <laughs> uh, my name is Francine. And um, I was wondering if, if the company that um, Williams, are they helping you fund some of these road projects? Because I heard they had given you like, no. a grant or a gift of $10,000. They gave us a grant to do a recycling project. What we're uh -huh. going to do out here on this, if you remember, well, a lot of you. I remember what it looked like before. Yeah. yeah. So we, we moved them over here because of the addition. Uh -huh. And we applied to Williams for a $10,000 grant to build a recycling area out here which will be concrete with a fence around it to put the dumpsters in but it was never it's not earmarked for any roads or any it's earmarked for well, a they're going to be using the roads if they have this you know if their equipment is here and they'll be heavily traveled by their wide loads you're saying they needed a permit to get certain size vehicles i assume on smaller roads is that what yeah they're talking? bonded our roads are bonded what's that mean uh they have to put up a bond that if they do any damage or any you know, basically damage, they have to, it's bonded, that they have to rebuild it. Is the farmland and everything around it bonded too, like the creeks and stream beds, are those things protected That's, equally? That's, creeks and stream beds will be handled by DEP. We, okay. we don't have any, and any say on And the farmlands, none of that. Yeah. So if something happens that Williams is bought by another company, do you know whether or not then the agreements that you have with them would hold or? That would be something to ask the lawyer. Okay, would you ask that for us, please? Well, if you're coming next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, would, okay. Yeah, you can ask him, yeah. Um, usually on, like, construction projects and that, the bond has to travel with with the buyer. I mean, it's a requirement for the project. So I would think so. So doing it. Right. And if, like, I don't know if you guys, if you remember down Scott Township, that was all bonded, and that guy went bankrupt, the first company. So then a bond company came in and paid to finish their sewer project down there. Okay. So it, it's got to stay with the project. Now the legal aspects, I, right. I don't know, right. but I know that it stays with the project. Okay. My question is just easy. I wasn't able to hear what Erica said about the flood after five years. I couldn't hear the traffic. Would you mind just repeating that? Um, what happened after five years? The flood is closed out now. I've been working on the flood for the last five years since it happened, and now I'm not. I, I finally, I finally got it done. It just, it was just a really long, drawn out, tedious, ridiculous 
crazy process. Was and this about the houses that you had to yep. take down and all that? Yeah. What what kind of agreement are you talking? Um, any agreements? Any agreements? Like uh, apparently they put your recycling center in here for you. That's they gave us a grant. Okay, they gave you a grant. Okay, right. you're already in transaction with these people somewhat because you accepted those monies. Did you have to send a letter, Susan Pantalone? Did you have to grant send application? That's it. Nothing deferred saying that they've helped you out and they're wonderful. They asked wonderful. us to, and, and I refused. Well, thank you. Thank you. But thank FERC you. did get a letter from Orange Township about how you had received this money and how thankful you were for it. And yeah, I saw the letter. We received it. What? We had to do that. That was part of the deal, was that we received it. What deal? With Williams? No. No. The grant is Williams Grant. No, it wasn't part of the deal with, with Williams. That FERC required that. FERC required, I think it was, and don't quote me on this, camera in my face. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? Um, yes. I think that Sorry, FERC I have wanted to. the people that accepted the money, that took the grant money, just to say that they got the grant money. I can't exact. I mean, it's been in two years now, so I can't exactly remember. Well, I've seen the letter. And that's the reason why for the question, because the letter was glowing about Williams. From us? Yes, from you. In fact, you signed it, Erica. And my question was to you was, did they give you the letter? I mean, this is what they did to Columbia County Commissioners. They gave them a letter, Williams did, and said, know. sign the letter and send it to FERC, which they did. But this letter came from you. Yeah. I don't remember. That. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I have it. So um, that's. You guys keep making the girl with the broken foot stand up and bring this stuff to me. I'm in this deep. Is she giving up the keep? You have a No, no. Program, and we're grateful for it. Is what this says to me. Does it say that you're going to support them as well, Rosa? I don't know. You want to read it? You wrote the letter. Who said that? You wrote the letter, Rosa. Again. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you? Yeah. So you don't know if you wrote. I don't support. see that it says that I'm going to support Williams. Could you read it to everybody that isn't, you know? Thank you for your opportunity to write on behalf of Orange Township and Coker Park, which Coker Park, we gave, we donated a uh, picnic table to the park. That was part of the, the whole... Uh, grant? Grant. Excuse me, Susan yeah. Pan. Thank you. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you. In Columbia County, PA, regarding the proposed Atlantic Sunrise Expansion Project, the Orange Township Municipal Building is, location, is the location for the local recycling receptacle, and Coker Park is the only recreational park in our area. The grant funding we received from the Atlantic Sunrise allows us to enhance our facilities and provide greater service to the local community. We are grateful for the funding, and we have received from Williams to improve our recycling program facilities. This proactive approach to local engagement helps the community projects by providing this funding. Because of Williams' support, Orange Township will be able to improve areas that hold the greatest needs to our community. They have voluntarily supported our recycling program and our park, and to my knowledge, in doing this, they have gone above and beyond their requirements to FERC. This level of corporate responsibility is welcome in our community and sets a standard for local investment and corporate partnership. We are thankful for the funding from Williams and acknowledge their effort to demonstrate a certain level of commitment to our community. We will continue to work with them in the future as they grow their connections in our community and Commonwealth. 
So it says a whole lot more than thank you very much. It depends how you take that. Well, yes. We take it first. Did you hear? Because you were too busy texting. I didn't know if you were paying attention or not. Are you from this township? No, but I'm I'm in the neighboring township. We're all in this pipeline. Susan Pantier. Well, you guys generally in favor of this? Is the question. Let me ask you a question. I wouldn't answer any of them. Can I ask a question? Every one of you that are against it, how many of you would like to see that in tractor trailers going down the highway? Because the amount of gas that's going to go through that pipeline would be bumper to bumper trucks going down through the roads. It Is that what you're looking for? We will anyhow. There's false equivalency because there's no need for this gas to go down anybody's road because it's going to go to Japan. It's a shortcut. It is a 183 mile shortcut. He's lied to the lawyers, he's lied to this the politicians, is a and he's lied to the landowners hey. and soldiers. Like yeah. Sorry. This is a township meeting. If you just want to have a discussion, please take it outside. Are there any other questions? Well, just, just a point of information. The Williams Company has 26 Point six four two billion dollars, and they gave us ten thousand. That's one twenty six zeros. It's I can't even pronounce the amount, and the amount they gave to the people in this area was three hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and that is point zero 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 of their working assets. Offer it to you. We had to apply for it, yeah. So yeah, then, are you applying for other grants in the future? Do you have like a list of things that you'd like to repair? We can apply to Williams again. Yeah, that's so, so that is open. Today was the deadline. What? Today was the deadline. There's there's more. They're probably going to have more. We can keep doing that. Does that mean you're going to say yes when it comes right down to it? To yes, get grant money? To, no, we to voting whether or not this is going to go through because I don't think it's a done deal, is it? That's something that the lawyer. Yeah, me, that's something I, that the I lawyer. I do about here tonight. I just have a really quick uh, thing that I want to say. It's not a. It's not a question. It really isn't a legal issue, and it's. I. I guarantee you, it's not you personal. State your name, please. Sure. Uh, my name is David Hartung. Thank you. Sure. I live in Greenwood Township, uh, but I live very close to here. I drive through you know, this township every day. Um, so this isn't a legal issue. Um, I'm very concerned about the, the health impacts of what's going to be going into the water, into the air that I'm going to consume. If I have children here, uh, the children are much more affected by carcinogens, which is car cancer-causing chemicals, than by us. So, I mean, things like benzene come from compressor stations. Benzene uh, causes leukemia. My father's a leukemia survivor. I have, that means a higher incidence for leukemia. Uh, toluene comes from compressor stations. That's the stuff that uh, teenagers sniff when they get high on glue. It's not good for you. Sulfur oxide is a carcinogen. Formaldehyde is a carcinogen. Carcinogen. Radon 222 is a carcinogen. These are all very, very dangerous for us. They're going to be going into our air and water. That, that's why I'm here. I'm not here for a personal thing. I actually really am, am glad that I came here because I find it interesting to see what you guys do. You know, thank you for your service, but uh, but that's why I'm here. It's for the health effects. Also, I'm I'm a I'm a Pennsylvania State teacher, and I took an oath to to do the best I can for the children. Did Did you write the perk? Did you personally write the this? Perk? Is, this is this is the this is this is the first that I'm getting into the issue. Yeah, I, I write I, I write the perk. I absolutely will. Thank you for the suggestion. But it's it, but I guarantee that if this goes in, we're going to see a lot more people from our community going to Geisinger with the, and getting with with weird health problems and getting diagnoses of different sorts of cancers. It's proven, it's, it happens every place that a compressor station or, uh, or, a, or a, uh, one of these things goes in, all well, goes in. Incidentally. You made the statement, this is the first you've been getting into it. Correct. I mean, I've, 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 I know <coughs> these, these, they've been having meetings on a county level, everything for more than the past two years. My question was, where was everybody when they were having these meetings? I don't know. Where were you? That's the where question. Finding out you never came to any of them. 
We've yeah. had meetings with yeah. just last or this week. A doctor came and spoke. Um, we've invited commissioners to come. We've yeah. had movies. You've been invited to a lot of meetings, and none of you have come. No, none of you. No, I, no I'm sorry. Officials. Cal so did come to one. And, and here's probably the reason why um, a lot of it is is out of our control. And we really don't have that much to say about it. Um, okay, other than that, that you don't um, we will it. have our solicitor here next month <laughs> to answer any of your uh, other questions. But Cal, you do remember that I brought you information about how Grant Township in the western part of the state, their supervisors and, and had gone to the I, wall on that. Every one. one of the informations that you have given me all state that this is all in litigation. So they've they've done it. it, it's true, but everything that I've read, if you read it at the end, everything that they have done is now in litigation. And are you and afraid of that? They'll bankrupt that township. We have $20,000 in our general fund right now. The, the townships just can't fight. They cannot the sue the fire company. They can't sue your fight. They cannot sue your police. I don't know what it is they can, but they cannot sue these real important things that make your town go. And you know what? More and more are going to, they're going to wake up. They're going to watch Gasland 1. They're going to watch Gasland 2. They're going to see just how much. These companies are lying to the people. Yeah, that's the trouble. That's the trouble. I dare each and every one of you to watch Gasland 1 or 2. And you will see all these people that had their, their, um, their properties with their water polluted, that, <coughs> what, 40 of them had to sign gag orders if they wanted money after their, their uh, wells were polluted. They cannot talk and say exactly what happened. If they wanted to get money to be able to move away, because no longer do they have water that they can drink. Their animals are losing their hair, their, cow, their cows, their cats, their dogs, their sheep. If you watch this, Gasland, please watch Gasland. One, two, there's how many, 10? No, just two so far. Uh, well, there's lots of other films, but not Gasland. Not uh, well, yeah. But the information that's in there, you're going to just see the, the pipeline that they're going to put here in our area is a whole lot less uh, uh, strength than what they would put in a, an area where there's more people. It's like, since when are we less worthy? Do you know what I mean? There's collateral damage people all up and down this line. It might be going on my property and five houses on my farm will be... If there's a fracture in that pipe and it ruptures, we're all dead. There is no chance of survival if you're in with 1,500 feet, which is, to my estimation, a pretty small amount because I think it's a lot, a lot more of an area. Yeah. But um, if you're in that hazard zone, you are you're no chance of survival, and that's on my property. But the people that are living close to this pipeline, that it isn't on their property, they're dead also if they're within that 100 or 1,500 feet. Do you think when they came to say, we want, we want to put a pipeline on your property, here, just sign this paper, they gave me no information, none. Never said there was even such a thing as a hazard zone. Nothing. Um, you know what? There is so much information Joe Schmudlap doesn't know about what's going on with this pipeline. And when you start researching, which I have for the last two years, to know what fracking does, do you watch the news? The lady that lived not too far, she had holes in her yard. All of a sudden, she's got holes all over her yard, her property. And the, the reporter says, well, do you have any idea what's what this is from. She says, yeah, I think it's that fracking well that they just drilled up there. And she pointed, and there's this fracking well. Now, do you think that that water is not polluted? If that can collapse ground that far away on her property, they're going to go through Cole Township, 
with uh, mind subsidences, 60 some, uh, whatever you call it, mines that are no longer. If that pipeline with its welds is going over this property and it fractures because of a, a little bit of a mine subsidence, there's going to be an explosion, and that's another thing. You can text on your phones. Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Canada, uh, what's the name of that explosion? It was a 40-some inch pipe. And you will see what you will have with, if this 42-inch pipe, this isn't an 18-inch, it isn't a 22 or 24, it's a 42-inch pipe. And it is an explosion like you can't imagine. And with the gas that's coming out, the the shutoff valves are from two miles to ten miles. That has to burn that gas in there has to burn off before it's over. Before it's over. They have to let that burn. Now Southern Columbia is it's right over the hill from it. Can you imagine? You know, I just get so upset I haven't slept for two years with all the information that's in my head. Well, the, 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 there's a little chart on the Lydie Line. Now, you've heard of the Lydie Line because that is part of the Atlantic Sunrise program. <coughs> but there was a Lydie Line in 2014. And the Lydie Line is storage of the gas. And there is a chart, and it says, if you live within 480 feet, of this of an explosion like this, you have 2.7 to 5.4 seconds to get out of there, and up to 1,100 feet, you have 267 seconds to get out of there, and that's in that column. It's called the 50 percent mortality column. So if you don't get out of there in six six minutes or whatever the, the time is, you're dead. You're dead. You, well, you can't, it can't even happen. I called them and asked them about it. Well, they said they think that's already been approved. It's a little chart in the Lighty line. You mean it's in the environmental it's, impact It's in statement. the environmental. They looked at that, and somehow they figured that that was all right to this have five seconds to get out. This is FERC. This is FERC. the people that are taking care of us, FERC. And when we say we're toast, that, that's cute. And everybody says, well, you're toast, and what, the, what does that mean? It means you're dead. You're incinerated. Well, one of the things I requested of you months ago was to send a letter to FERC asking that any pipeline that go in our area be of a higher gauge than they have in their environmental impact statement that Williams has in there, and I don't know if you've written that letter. I know that the Columbia County commissioners have, but it would be helpful if you did as well. Because the more FERC hears that, the more they can say to Williams, yeah, you need to up the gauge of the pipeline. I did call FERC and I said, how can you put my entire family, five, five homes, uh, friends of ours, it's six of their family homes on the farm. Uh, there are, and I lost my... How did, how, what did FERC say? Oh, that's it. I says, how can you do this? And she says, I have to calm myself down because the attitude, the attitude is what, what kills us that are living this nightmare. She says, if FERC okays it, they can put that pipeline afoot from your house. And it was the attitude. It was the attitude. The condescending, like okay. they are in power and you will do what we say. Now, Which is the reason why. <laughs> that's why we're so upset. What? Um, I, I know that you probably all have families. I'll make it very, very quick. Um, but these, uh, these points that I mentioned, um, the radon is the leading cause of lung <coughs> cancer, and that's that is a is a is a, a radioactive isotope that attaches to dust. So even if a little seeps out, you know, on the floor or something, any kind of dust that gets blown up, there's there's lots of plumes of of heated air that that travel uh, very far and wide. 
it's it's the EPA on the EPA's website. It says it's, it's the leading cause of lung cancer for those who don't smoke. Second second leading cause for those who do smoke. And it, and it, it'll it'll you know we'll all be breathing it if this goes if this compressor station goes in because the compressor stations.